Hey everyone, Patrick CK here in The Crew. I want to show you one of my favorite faction missions called The Fugitive. At the same time showing off the game at pretty much max settings running on my new rig. Specs for which you can see in part 1 of my 2016 build log. Anyway, back to The Fugitive. Basically, you will be taking a raid class vehicle. In my case, this Ford F-150 Raptor at level 1319 from the middle of New York City all the way across country to the Mexico US border in what I guess would be considered South San Diego or Tijuana around there. You have 60 minutes to go across country and as a reward you get experience, 30,000 bucks, rep and any smart loot it wants to give you. All right, let's start this mission. Looks like we're going to be dealing with some rain at the start, but no problem. It just adds to the story of a fugitive trying to get away. Did you see those individual droplets on the truck? Oh, wow. Alright, so we have 60 minutes to go 62 miles. I know you saw that. That definitely deserves a replay. Right in between. Ha. I do think the game does that on purpose. It almost always happens right at the beginning there. Uh, usually with some different vehicles though. Uh, swing go right. Hey yourself. Freaking pedestrians. This is pretty much the only way to get off the island if you want to head west. Damn box truck, get out of my way. I know it's pretty dark here, but hey, you've got to admire those uh, lighting effects all over the truck and the roadway. Oof. Definitely didn't look like this on my old computer. Out of the tunnel now in what I guess would be Jersey. One of the reasons I really like this mission is that you get to drive across the whole of the southern and eastern United States, going from urban areas into forests, plains, and the desert, and you get 30,000 bucks. With your perk points, you can make an extra 3,000 bucks like you saw on my screen. And it's a great way to see how much faster your raid vehicle is getting at the same time. Yeah, this is probably the most traffic you're going to have in the whole mission. So just uh, be careful, take those turns, and uh, watch out who's coming. Yep. And uh, just go ahead and get back on the other side until you start taking uh, your little shortcuts. Yeah, this is still definitely the most traffic you're going to see at any point. Go. We're going to take a shortcut from the blue line here and head into the forest. Got gotcha. Look! Oh, look at the pretty kitties! Pretty kitty! Anyway, so yeah, driving through the forest. Don't know why the railroad track hit me so hard. I'll be taking a few shortcuts like this where needed uh, to cut a little time off the mission and to admire the level of detail they put into these areas where most people won't normally be going. We should be coming up on the railroad tracks here shortly. The nice thing is when you're in a mission there are no trains so you can follow the tracks with no problem giving some nice straight lines and wide curves so you can stay on the boost as much as possible. And we're going to take another little shortcut here just to cut off the corner, try not to hit any trees. Nope, nope, nope. I hit the pole. Yep. Got it. And the advantage of the railroad track nice swooping curves, straight lines. Another curve. There is a train, but it's not moving. It's not even on any tracks. 
Let's fly through the Roro station. Hey, everybody. As fun as flying down the Robo track at 140, 50 miles an hour is, uh, I know it can get a little boring, so I am just going to speed this thing up a little bit until we get to the next uh, interesting point. I don't know why it keeps saying you're going the wrong way, even though you're following the blue line. That seems to just started happening after the last update. Oh well, I know I'm going the right way. So we're going to leave the railroad track for a little while, cut through these uh, woods over here, and uh, meet up with the road. Yeah, one thing I really like about the crew is that if you hit a tree just on the corner of your car, you just basically bounce off and you can continue on the journey. Of course, if you do hit it straight on, you are going to get pictures of really cute kittens. At this point, obviously we're pretty far away from the urban center, uh, all on dirt roads. Definitely enjoying the scenery, all the lovely trees and whatnots. Just uh, try not to hit any fences. Every time you hit a fence, yeah, yeah, you do slow down just a little bit. Yeah, another funny thing about the crew is yeah, there's lots of animals always walking in front of you and stuff, but no matter what you do, you can't actually hit them. They just uh, magically appear on the other side of the vehicle, and they're just perfectly fine. So, uh, yeah, no animals were harmed in the making of this uh, video. No worries. So, yeah, we're going to continue down this gravel road for a little while. Now, there is a shortcut coming up soon, but I'm actually not going to take it because every time I do, I don't have a very good experience. So, I'm just going to try to whip it around this corner and uh, destroy a sign, which is fine. Someone gets paid to put them back, so it's just supporting the economy. And we're going to be back down on this highway. Now, all this water, all these water puddles around here. Uh, yeah, they were added in the last update, basically, you know, it was like after it rains, you know, I wasn't too sure about it, but, uh, on here, I mean, on my new computer, it actually looks pretty nice. Uh, it's, it is a little weird because it's literally everywhere, it's not very consistent, uh, like on top of hills, it's kind of weird, but it works, uh, especially the really nice reflections, just gives some nice added details to the environment you know look I mean they're literally everywhere and it doesn't really make sense unless this place was flooded or something yeah well we'll go with that everything was flooded yeah we are basically running along the Mississippi River trying to find basically the only bridge to get across uh, so yeah the flooding thing can work out pretty well uh, even though we're kind of not going in the right direction, I do like this road nights. Swooping turns, not a lot of traffic for the most part. Got some sharp turns. Ugh, lost a little too much speed there, that's fine. We'll keep going. Uh, eventually, though, we're going to come across two bridges. Uh, here's one. I believe this is actually the Ohio River. And then the next bridge. Come around this bend. Is actually going to be the bridge that crosses the Mississippi. So, finally, across the Mississippi. And at this point, uh, we're going to be leaving the mostly wooded area for the mostly plains area with all the farmland. Yeah, we're going to be on the road just for a little while. And then we're going off. Yeah, since this place is pretty much wide open, we're just gonna fly as the crows do. 
as straight as possible. Oh, what? Were those bison? No, I've never seen bison on here before. Wow. Anyway, yeah, trying to stay off the road again, just flying as, going as straight as possible. And straight as possible, that's go straight. Go, go back around. Alright, good, there we go. So basically, trying to look for the highway underpass that's going to mark the next area. And here it is guardrail, nope, and back on it, good. Yeah, don't have a lot of boost here. That's okay. Because we're not going to be on here very long. Guardrail and back on. Oh, grip, 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 grip. Back, back, back on the road. Yes. Got off this guy. Good. Back through some trees. Through some very lovely cornfields. Yeah, do love how this looks. And then open field again, and back with our little friend, the railroad track. Again, though, as majestic as the scenery is around here, I uh, do understand. It's going to get a little boring. Even though we're going to be hitting 160 miles an hour. We are going to speed this thing up just a little bit. Yeah, we're going to be uh, transitioning into another biome here. Pretty much leaving the uh, plains area. And going into what basically is going to be uh, evergreen forest. A little bit taller trees than we've seen so far. Kind of, kind of similar. But that's okay. Again, the level of detail in basically the middle of nowhere, that's still pretty impressive. We're going to slow back down here just to watch another little shortcut of mine. Yep, oh, oh, see? Yep, yeah, just... Bouncing off of trees. No, no kitties. Not this time. And back on track. And yep, we're gonna speed it back up a little bit. So almost 15 minutes into our mission here. 33 miles more to go. We're entering the Mountain States area. I guess technically the southern part of the Mountain States. Which is a mostly desert. Oh, oh, see, see, he's fine, he's fine. No worries, he's walking away. All good. And even though it's desert and uh, mostly flat, there's still some really stunning scenery. Uh, this is where the Grand Canyon is. Uh, and if you're not too careful and you fall in, yeah, you're going to be stuck in down there for a little while. Uh, not that that's happened to me before, but, you know, it takes about... 30 minutes an hour to get out of it, and um, you're going to fail the mission. That's fine. Now right, we're going to jump off of the railroad tracks again, and uh, back on the road, just for a little while. I kind of like this stretch, uh, driving through the ruins, and especially going downhill, because if you time your boost just right, you'll hit your max speed, which is 171, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're pretty much running parallel with the railroad track at this point. But since we're technically on the inside line, this is a little faster. Yeah, but don't worry, we're not going to be on here for too much longer. Traffic. More traffic. All right, at this point, I'd like to aim for that uh, plateau mountain thing in the far distance there. Because if you can drive in a straight line, straight, that's that's it, straight. Damn it! Come on, straight. 
Straight. There you go. Straight. Yeah, so if you go in a straight line aiming toward that little mountain there, you won't need to go on the railroad tracks or the road, at least for a little while, and just fly as straight as an eagle. Straight, man. You're a raid car. This is what you're made for. Let's go. They were truly stunning vistas. Especially the fact that you can actually go to them and they're not just a skybox that's infinitely far away. Uh, that's what I really love about this game. Alright, at some point here, when we get moderately close, we'll kind of jump back on the tracks. Uh, again, the tracks kind of go a little off, so we are going to go straight here. And then we'll jump back on them in a minute. Completely avoiding the uh, road here. And yep, as much as I like the desert, we are going to speed things back up once I get back on the track. Come on, really? Straight, man. Not that hard. Okay, we're good. There's some really interesting things to visit around here, like a boneyard that has literally at least a hundred planes that you can drive through and do flips on and do a bunch of really cool stuff. There's some, there's some satellite arrays for SETI. And the Grand Canyon, of course. And a bunch of little really cool, nice, quaint, uh, small towns. Again, though, we're trying to get to the Mexico-U.S. border on the other end, so we're just going to keep flying down these railroad tracks. And... Alright, soon we're actually going to be getting off the railroad tracks for good and just basically driving down the plains until we get to the border. Uh, at which point we're mostly going to be sticking to uh, the border wall, or I should say uh, Trump's wall, uh, until we get to our final destination. And we'll probably be jumping on the highway here and there just because uh, sometimes it's a little more of a straight shot. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, you know trial and error. So there's part of the highway. A little bit away from the border, but it does get closer. Pretty much be running parallel with it soon. And you'll be seeing glimpses of the border wall here coming up shortly. Again, though, just the level of detail in this basically middle of nowhere. Man, just can't get over it. Really can't. And here we go. The U.S.-Mexico border. And this thing pretty much stretches the entire map. And just, just like you can see, this is the wall that Trump would build if he could build it. Uh, yep, just uh, keep those opinions to yourself. And as you can see, uh, for the most part, it's going to be a straight shot, so we'll be blasting through some of them. We are actually going to take a little shortcut here. Because the uh, border wall goes out and it comes back in, so there's no point in following it all the way. I might actually jump back on the highway if we don't hit the guardrail. Uh, let's see. Play chicken with traffic. Yeah. Not too much traffic. Not enough to be annoying though. And we're probably gonna jump back onto the border wall road. Let's see if I can uh, do a fancy jump here. Or not. We'll probably film this really. And yeah, no, yeah, nope, nope, yeah, 
Could have got more air, but eh, that's okay. We're gonna need it. Come around this corner and continue going straight. Just for a little while. Right by this truck stop. And yep, again, we're gonna stick to this uh, wall like the border patrol should be. And speed it up. We got less than five miles to go and we're definitely flying through it uh, coming up to one of my favorite jumps in the whole game not gonna be really be able to tell but get some massive air at the bottom man you were just flying through the speed bam oh yeah a little too much air on that one what the f oh, 180 180 yeah so perfectly on purpose so uh, yeah because uh, you gotta bleed the speed off to get this corner here. It's pretty sharp. Perfect. That's, yeah. Meant to do all of that. And in the last stretches, two miles. Again, hitting 180 into the fences. Uh, just trying to bleed off some speed again. And yeah, in, in the wall. Beautiful. Fences. Alright, one and a half miles left. Yeah, this part is uh, it's gonna get a little tricky here. Come around the corner into some birds, into some animals. They're fine. They're okay. Less than a mile. Now, I wanted to go as straight as possible here, but there's a lot of stuff on both sides. I'm not going the wrong way. Almost there. Come on. Don't hit the rocks. Don't hit the rocks. Hit the wall. And yes, done. Ah, oh, look at that beauty, beautiful dirt badge of honor. Now let's see where we did it in. Yep, yep, new part. That's nice, nice. Plus two, great. And twenty-six minutes and thirty-one seconds. Yes, sir. Loving it. I think that's a new record for me. And this was my first venture at a gameplay video. If you liked it, great. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks, everyone.